That's what we're doing today. Now look at those. They're way prettier than me. Yeah. These are the b Banny upper control arms. Um, they replace your stock control arms. I mean, they, they just replace them. They literally bolt right in place of them. Um, Ronnie was saying we need like a uh, longer hardware to go through here. Is that right? For here. For here. Yeah. Because this is Cause thicker. This is than, thicker the, okay. than the stock one. So we're going to run to the hardware store real quick. We're going to get some bolts to go through here. And we'll be back and we'll talk more about these. You can see us put them on. What we're trying to do is get a little more camber out of the front of the truck. Um, as you can see, like the back tire wheel setup sticks out a little bit. We're going to deal with that. We're planning on putting over fenders or flares or whatever on here. But uh, for right now, I would like to be able to lean this. Uh, <laughs> you get a different angle on me. Get me from my good side. I'm just trying to get you from the not black side. Right on. <laughs> um, so we're trying to get some lean on these uh, front front wheels so we can tuck them until we put the coilovers on. Because if you have a hard body, you know the front end is super squishy. And so if your wheels are sticking out at all, you're probably rubbing when yep. you go over bumps. So that's what we're doing. We'll hit y'all back after the uh, hardware store. All right, so we're back from the hardware store. We went to Ace. Uh, we got some bolts here. Um, the original bolt was this long. Come on. And then we got some that were a little longer, and then we got some that were even longer than that. Um, the ball joint's right under it, so we don't know exactly how long we can go because we don't want to hit. Um, but we're just going to take this off, get these in, and see the size that we need. Um, basically, this is a pretty easy job. I mean, you take this off, you get the aftermarket part, which is over there. There's Ronnie and his dogs. And then uh, you just put them on. They're super easy. So uh, we're going to get this one off, get the other one on, and we'll show you the difference. So let's we'll get these bolts off. Dude, I totally asked you if this is going to fall down when I got I thought off. you meant like this <laughs> fall down. <laughs> That was a miscommunication. It's a good thing I wasn't trying to lick the spacer while I was taking that off. I could have been killed, Ronnie. What size is he? He's like a 21 or something? I don't know, big. Big. Uh, um, so anyway, his bull's getting the bolts out. Uh, he already did that. Make sure this doesn't fall and hit you. He asked me, he's like, is this going to fall? And I was like, no, it's held up by the control arm right there. I was like, the, 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 that thing. I thought he meant like the whole thing fall down and hit the ground. It is a 21 or 20. Oh, no, no, you don't take that off, though. You take, you take these off. Oh, okay, well, those are the same size. They're either a 21 or 22. Um, so anyways, you take these four off, you take these two off, and then you take your shock out. Slip the new one in, bolt it all back together, done deal. The nice thing about these is like they're greasable here. So that's nice. This is a nice little, like, it's been machine turned here, so it clears a coilover if you run a coilover. Um, this is thicker than the stock bent thing. You can see this is how thick the stock one is. Like, it's nothing. Um, and these are welded. B. Banny's a pretty good welder. You know, this is a 7 8. Compared to my welds, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but. It's a 7 8. So these are, right. these are 7 8. And then the ones that go here, these are 12s. Um, and then you need whatever goes here, which is probably like a 13 or a 14 on both trucks. We'll push these down, and then we'll slip those this control arm out and the other one in. I don't know which way this goes, um, but this joint right here, because this is uh, can pivot here, you can adjust caster with these as well. So you have camber adjustment by adjusting both of them out, and then you have caster adjustment by sucking this one in. It'll it'll caster it. 22. I found the metric equivalent. 22. 22 or so, 7 eighths. So 12, 22. Um, so yeah, you can do that, which is nice. That you have the caster and the camera adjustment here. No more shims. No more BS. It's it's pretty nice. I need an extension. Dang I keep walking back and forth to the daggone toolbox. See, we do this so y'all don't have to, to walk back and forth. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the first time we ever told you guys, like, what size the bolts are. <laughs> I know. We're usually like, hey, this is what we're doing. And everybody's like... Usually we're not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using your goofy universal joint that's taped together. Nice. 
I would just get the impact gun. Would you? Yep. That's probably what I should do. <laughs> I think I got it. You broke it loose. There it goes. Both like, I'm going to use this impact gun right here that already has a 22 on it and everything. Does it really? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> I'm learning. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we can take the shock off. Um, just undo the top, and then we should be able to compress it enough with okay. our hand to pull this out, and then we can slip the new one in. Nice. So I have these arms on my truck too. Um, and mine have the coilover mount. It's right there, and the coilover's down there. Um, you can buy that from Bibani. It's a whole kit. comes with everything you need. You just have to chop it and weld it and that kind of stuff. Um, this side you can see a little better. There's less junk. You can also just buy this. So you can just buy this, or you can buy that whole shebang. Um, Bo and I both have the whole coilover set up. Yes, we do. We just, yeah, we just want to see, like, what we can do with this. The crappy thing about my truck is we took it down and we decided just to, like, go full bore on it and just, like, do everything. Do everything. So the nice part about taking our time a little more with Bo's truck, because they're both going real similar builds um, for the most part. But the nice thing about taking our time with Bo's truck is we can try small things from kits like the control arms and see well is it worth just buying these you know is it worth just getting the coilovers is it worth you know doing the four link things like that which is nice so we're, we're i don't know we're excited we, we like comparing things that's something that i like to do a lot Bo enjoys it so that's what we're doing we hope that the uh hard body community will enjoy it also because i know people are always on the fence i'm always on the fence when i get a new vehicle i'm like well should i go this way or that way should i do over fenders or fender flares should i do just lower my torsion bars or should i go to coilovers or drop spindles or stuff like that so that's what we're trying to do we're trying to cover every base and help you guys out so y'all don't have to buy twice we've done enough of that <laughs> we have So anyways, Bo's about got this off. We're going to throw the other one on. And we'll be in a good way. Hey, the impact gun wouldn't fit up here. Leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> a ratcheting wrench would, though. Shut up. <laughs> or maybe an air ratchet. Look, I'm old. You're lucky <laughs> I don't have a wooden wrench doing this. <laughs> one made of a freaking mammoth tusk or something. <laughs> so, since these are easy enough to get off, we're going to put Bo's on opposite of mine. We're going to put this on the front, this, this part right here. Yeah. We're going to put it toward the front and see if there's any effect or any, uh, you know, if it fits ill or whatever. Get it on there. All right. Down it should angle down a little bit. There it goes. Maybe? I don't know. That one's in there. Looks like it should be down more. No, oh, it's in there. That's good. Or I think it's in there. Yeah, that's good. Here, hold on. So there it is. Super it's in. easy. Super easy. Um, now we got to put this back in. We'll have to jack the. Lower control arm up a little bit because the nut doesn't quite fit. Yeah, we'll just jack it up. Put your bushings back. We have a pinto shock here, but the new way to do it is with 4x4 shocks. They travel quite a bit better, and they're just, they're quite a bit better than these. Oh, 
I'll tell you. Keep going. That's good. That's good. Um, so anyways, the new thing to do is, is 4x4 shocks. We won't be doing that because we're just going straight to coilovers. But if you want a stiffer than stock, lowered, right height, whatever, use 4x4 shocks. Low profile bump stops. I don't know if you want them here. Not here because these are... These are these are your down travel bump stops, so they don't matter a whole lot, right here. Your up travel one would be here. We have them cut off because we have the pinto ones, which have it built in up here. Uh, and then you can re-index your torsion bars. We don't really know a whole lot about that. We talked about doing it in this video, um, but we're like, if we're going to take the torsion bars out, we're just going to put the coilovers in. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for putting coilovers on both the truck. Woo! Uh, we're also going to extend the lower control arms on these on this this truck like we did Ronnie's probably not as far though he did two inches are you gonna stay at two inches or are you gonna back up a little bit uh I don't know I'm on the fence I think probably I'll order another set of new control arms and go to an inch and a half okay but I want to see I want to try and get the truck aligned first and okay. see if I have enough room in this little guy right here to keep it the way it is if there's okay. if there's enough to get this tight then i'll probably just leave it because the camera looks pretty good right now yeah it really does uh we're gonna do mine probably somewhere between an inch and an inch and a half um we feel like that's a happy medium for a uh a truck that's not like a straight up race truck yeah which ronnie's in so what <laughs> he thinks it is who said <laughs> i think it's a street truck Okay, I'm still holding my finger up. <laughs> all right, so we got it on. We got it all tightened down. This is what it looks like. Voila. It's pretty. Boom. Okay, with the bolts that we got, I think this was an 8 millimeter, 1.25 thread pitch, 20 millimeters long. This is 25 millimeters long. We went to the longer ones, and you can see they just stuck out a little tiny bit, and it makes me feel good about like how much thread we got into them. So They're perfect. We went with the 25 millimeter length which is about an inch. Plus the one thing that we didn't do that you should do and we probably will do is put a lock washer here. And Dude, so that'll, really that'll get taken out by that and it'll be perfect. That's a much better idea. We're going to do that when we go to put the coilovers in. Yeah. We're going to put lock washers all the way around up here and take up the slack and make us feel better. Yep. Generally speaking. Well, we're going to go lock down the other side. Uh, get that knocked out and then we'll get this thing on the ground. Well, we're going to play with it. Probably what while Bo's doing the other side, I'm going to max these out um, to full camber, and we'll see what it looks like when it's on the ground. Right, full negative camber. Yeah, negative camber. <laughs> Not positive like it is right now. Right on. So it's on the ground. Uh, it doesn't look like that gave us a whole lot of camber, negative camber. Uh, but it does look like it gave us a little. The truck's also not as low as we want. That'll give it a little more. And then, of course, the extended control arms will finish it off and we'll give it all the stuff. But there's definitely some. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a degree or two. No, I'm. Oh, this side is pretty good. Look at that side. This so, one's good. Uh, oh my gosh, look at that. I got like, what, two degrees, three degrees? Out of this, yeah. This, side? this one needs like. It, it Maybe because it's sitting on a, on a decline right here. Maybe. But that one might be. This one looks pretty good. If we get it flat, it might, might be better. But I, I still like to see another degree. Let me, uh, let me turn. Let me turn. Yeah, because it's not quite straight. There you go. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Another degree, this one would be perfect. Dude, I like that. My goodness. I mean, maybe this one's pretty close. Maybe it's just like the shadow. And like you said, being on a little slope. Yeah, we're sitting on a little slope like this, so... It might just be that. Man, that turned out good. Thank you, Jason Pope from B-Bandy Customs. These were super easy to put on. They're super beefy. When you put them on, you feel super dope because they're a super trick part and you get camera out of it. So, golf yeah. clap for Jason Pope. 
We'll have a link in the description. Yep, link in the description as usual. Oh, uh, speaking of which, did I tell you our we got our Amazon thing back? No, you didn't. Yeah, so we need to do that. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So let's do that. So we need to buy some stuff from Amazon. But that's it for today. That's all we were doing. Um, next time it'll be um, extended lower control arms. Are we doing that next, or are we gonna do your diff next? Because it's been okay, sitting look, there for like two weeks. Here's what we gotta do to my truck. <laughs> all right. I have like all these parts sitting around in my house. We've got my diff to put back in, which is sitting over here, which. We got pinion angle to fix, which we do a video on that. We got lower control arms to, to extend. We've got um, the Pathfinder fenders to go on, the 4x4 fenders to go on. We've got, I've got flares coming in. I ordered fender flares for it. So we got fender flares to do that as well. Not with the not with the 4x4 fenders, but... We're doing a comparison do a compare. video of yeah, the two. I got underglow to put on this thing. We got coilovers to put on this thing. Jesus, what are we doing with our lives? I've still got seat brackets, perfectly good seat brackets and seats to order, which I'm going to do in the next couple of days, probably. <laughs> so we got seats to go in. We're going to do the Braum seats that everybody loves. I'm going to give me some Braum seats. They can do a, like custom stitching for like an extra 99 bucks. That's so, such a good deal. I know. It's like 700 bucks plus the 99, 99 bucks, you know, 800 bucks. For a set, guys. For, for a set. That's two seats with custom stitching color. So I'm going to get like black and gray with like a bright yellow. So I'm super excited. To match the knob. Yeah. I'm also going to order new carpet to put in here. So, because my carpet's pretty much shit. Oh, yeah? So I'm ordering new carpet. And I'm thinking about getting some, uh, some daggum, uh, floor mats, floor mats from... Um, that one guy. I know what you're that talking company about. that makes the checkered ones with yeah. those really cool stuff, and they make them in all kinds of colors. Uh, I forgot. God, they're out of Georgia. Somebody comment if you know Dang what we're talking about. They're Garage Moon something. Yeah. Garage Moon Power. Yep, yep. Yes, Garage yeah. Moon Power. I'll put a link in that too. You know, once we do the video, we'll put a link down below. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting way ahead of myself, but I have all that stuff to do to this truck. My goodness. And I still won't be half as cool as Ronnie's truck. I need carpet for my Just truck. Just because of the powder coat on his valve cover. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, but that's it for today. We'll see you guys. Yeah, we'll see you. Thanks, Thanks for, for hanging out.